Hello, welcome to Play Canvas QCs. I am Mapster, and today we are looking at uh, ray casting. In this example, we're going to be getting a cube changing color every time you click on it. Uh, if you do not click on it, then it does not change color. Uh, if you're looking for uh, documentation, we'll be using the Play Canvas uh, ray casting as an example here. Uh, I'll be putting this in the description so that way you can take a look at this and go along and read through some of the documentation as well. Alright, cool. Let's get started. So for the scene, what we have here is a uh, basic cube with a white texture on it and a black outline. The material itself, what it will actually need is this tint option selected on the diffuse. This is what actually allows us to uh, change the texture, oh sorry, change the color <laughs> of the cube. Cool, so let's get started with creating a new script. Call this one Raycast. Alright, let's go and clean some of this up. Okay, cool. So first we need to listen for the uh, mouse event. Uh, so when we click down on the screen, uh, we can start doing stuff with it. So let's start off with this dot yeah, dot mouse dot on PC dot event mouse down. And then we're going to have a function and we can call this one do raycast. So this. And it's going to create this new function. And of course this one will take a mouse event which is what gets called whenever a uh, button is pressed up or down. So the uh, so what we want to do is we want to f get two vectors one will be the start of the raycast and the other one will be end of the raycast so we know so that there will be where we can actually hit a target from so let's start off with a from and we want it to start at this dot entity dot get position and this is going to be on the camera so we're getting the camera's current position and then we want to find out in which direction we are aiming at or the camera is aiming at and get a position between the start of the camera and the uh, distance ahead of the camera. So what we need, oh, that is a little bit crazy, two, so it'd be this dot entity dot camera screen to world because we want to convert the 2d coordinates uh, from the screen and that's where we can go and use the mouse event x and the mouse event uh, y so we have gotten the x and y position of the screen and we want to convert it into a world position and of course we need to have a z so how far from the camera uh, do we want the ray cast to stop? So that's when it actually stops ray casting. So if we wanted it to only go for one unit, we can put one unit here. But in this case, we want it to go as far as the camera can see. Uh, if you're not too worried about that, you can just put a 9999. It doesn't matter. It essentially goes on forever. Uh, if you want it to be a little bit more precise, then you can go this dot entity dot uh, camera dot far clip and that essentially means we have a raycast from the start of the camera to as far as the camera can see okay cool so next thing is we want to actually do the raycast so uh, what the raycast will do is it will give us a result and we want to do a this dot app dot systems dot rigid body Dot raycast first because we want to get the first thing that the raycast has hit and we want to pass it in from and to so what this is doing is we want to do a raycast from the start of the camera 
to the end point of the camera and we want to get the first thing that the raycast hits and put it into the result okay so now we need to uh, get the object that we hit but first we need to make sure that we have actually hit something in this case we can go if result and this will essentially make sure that we have hit something and if we have not hit something then we don't do anything with it so cool all good we have now hit a target now we want to get the material of the target that we hit in this case we want to go material so go to result dot entity dot model dot mesh instances dot material cool so next thing we want to create a random color for us to change the uh the square to so what we can do is we can go var r is equal to math dot random that will give us a random number between zero and one and we want to have three of these And then we want to go material dot diffuse dot set rgb, and then of course with any change that we make to a material, we want to do an update. So what I've done here is we are now getting the position of the camera, the furthest point that the camera can see that we clicked on the screen. And then we want to get the first object that the raycast hits. Make sure that we actually hit the, a target. Get the material of the target and then set the color to a random color. Cool. So next up. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that, but there's like kids like playing behind my window. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to chuck the script onto the camera. So that means we need a script component and then we want to check on our raycast. So also a further note, if we have a look at how this works, we are actually using the rigid body system to do the raycast. And with that in mind, what we need to actually do is go to our box and we need to actually give it a rigid body component. And then in order to actually get it to work, we need to actually give it some ammo. So we can just click input ammo and wait a short while for this to actually work. There we go. We have a ammo folder. This hasn't actually disappeared. So we can just click away and click back on. And then we can see that it's nice and clear there. So next up, we want to actually add a collision. And the collision is what actually works for the, uh, the raycast. So... If we were to actually click over here uh, onto the collision, we can actually see that we'll click on the box. If we click over here, we will not because it's not actually touching the red part of the cube. Okay, cool. So everything should be hooked up. Let's go and give it a shot. And there we go. Whenever we click on the box, it changes the color. If we click outside, it does not. There you go. I hope you found this useful if you did. Uh, please subscribe, leave a comment, let me know. If you didn't, you know what to do. And catch you next time. Thanks.